Season 8, Episode 7, Landscape Artist of the Year. Get prepared to be frustrated with me. Let's get started. All right, because this is the semifinals, it means that there are seven contestants and three of them will be picked to go on to the finals. There will be another semifinal round, and I suspect that that semifinal round will be episode eight. So I will be reviewing that one next. The setting is the Thames Barrier. This is some sort of dam device that keeps water from flooding London. And it keeps with the theme of what this year has been, which has been they put them in front of industrial buildings. They put them in front of the uh, grandstand at Royal Ascot. They put them um, in fewer and fewer what I would call natural settings and put the emphasis on industrial and man-made shapes. So that continues the theme here. Um, I will be... There will be spoilers because I will tell you who the three are who are selected to go on to the semifinals. And I'm also going to make a prediction about who I think is going to win. And I thought this fellow would win from the first time I saw his submission. I don't know if I'm right yet. And hashtag Joe is wrong might be, <laughs> might be coming soon. But let's get started and look at this heat and see who the three semifinalists are. All right, this is contestant number one. His name is Stefano, and I suspect he was probably on episode four. I was unable to find episode four anywhere on the internet, but he must have won that particular program. So he shows up here, and this is his interpretation of what we just saw when it comes to the Thames barrier. Wow, 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 wow. Um, he, he, he is a surrealist painter. And there's a lot of imagination going on here. The judges were perplexed by the balloon. I'm perplexed as well, but not just by the balloon, <laughs> to say. I'm perplexed by many things. Um, but I want to introduce you to Stefano, and we will see how he fares during this particular heat. He's certainly very good at drawing and painting. I just, uh, I've been watching a lot of Project Runway, and um, they talk about a taste. I'm just not sure about the taste level here. That, that's sort of something that they say in that program a lot. It covers a lot, of, a lot of, um, of ground. And now we'll go on to the next contestant. The next contestant's name is Anna. I loved Anna's painting, and uh, I thought she should have won this heat, and she does not. But here it comes. I also loved Anna's painting that she did uh, of the roller coaster back at... Uh, what was it called? Peaceful Beach? Wonderful Beach? Pleasure Beach. That was it. Pleasure Beach, which was hardly pleasurable. But I really like this painting. It's got a lot of movement. It has depth. It has shapes. It certainly captures what they were looking at that day in terms of color and forms. I don't know why the judges weren't loving this painting, but they weren't. So she was passed over very, very quickly. But anyway, I'm an Anna fan and I thought she should have been one of the winners here. She was not. Now we will go on to the next contestant. All right, this is Finn. Now, I have Finn pegged, pegged as the winner from the very first time I saw his submission, and I'm gonna show you his submission in a minute. He is one of the winners of this heat, so he's one of the three that's going to win in, and go on to the semifinals. I not a big fan of this painting. Sorry, I made some, some noise. I'm, I'm, I get very excited about these things. But anyway, this is Finn, and he was uh, brought up in an arts community, so he has a long history of art. Now let's look at this submission. This was his submission, which they showed when he did his painting. His particular heat was at the, um, the pier in Brighton, I believe. And you can see that he can handle the kind of commission that they want to give as the prize. This was his submission when it came to the pier, and it won that particular day. And that's why he's here as a semi-finalist. I, I, like I said from the very beginning, I thought Finn is going to be the winner because the winning contestant has a commission to complete, and he looks like he can handle that. Now we go on to the next one. The next one is Steve. Now, Steve did the blue painting, the what I called an underpainting in the episode that was behind the um, Royal Ascot 
oh, and boy, I was upset after that one. I just did not like his his response to that day, and I completely do not understand this painting at all. So this is Steve. <laughs> Let's go on to a, a painting that I like a little better. This is Helen. Uh, I really enjoy this painting. Um, Helen's more of the kind of painter that I am, having to do with values and shapes and enhancing the color. You can see beyond the structures how she's enhanced the color of the shapes behind, and it has a liveliness and a brightness to it that I really respond to. So I obviously I'm I like this painting and it's almost a square and I've said before how much I like a square. Let's go on to the next contestant. All right the next contestant is Susanna and I really enjoy this one as well. I mean these shapes are so weird. They're just so weird. It was such an injustice to put them in front of this. Uh, I really do get upset about that. I mean give these guys a fighting chance for goodness sake. Uh, so you know, I like her treatment of the water. I like, the, there's just lots that I like about this painting. Uh, I'm not, I can't, they, they did not, <laughs> they didn't respond very positively to this painting. But again, as I said before, they're looking for something different. They're not looking for a good painting necessarily. They're looking for something different. Now, what I haven't said before is that in each one of these heats, there's something called a wild card. That's where 50 people are invited to come and paint that day. And from one, they pick one person who can join the semifinals. This was a person who won on one of the particular days. It was the day they were painting the pier. He's very, very young. He's only, I think, 17 years old. So he doesn't have a lot of practice behind him and he's using pen and ink and charcoal. And there's really not much that I can say about this. You can very much see that he's a naive artist. Da, 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 da. The three semifinalists. Oh my goodness. Well, Stefano for number one, can't believe it. Finn, who I pegged as a winner from the very beginning, and in this particular case, Helen. But I don't think she has a chance of winning. <laughs> Her, paint, her work is just too conventional. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Yes, I'm going to go on to the next episode of semifinalists, and I hope I can find the final in the end. I mean, we should all commiserate together. It has not been a spectacular year for this program. All right, thanks for watching. Join my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.